This patient has stage four adenocarcinoma. Um, because of her history of hemoptysis, she is not a candidate for uh, bevacizumab. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not safe to give bevacizumab in patients who have active hemoptysis. So I would not consider that as an option for this patient. Um, I do think that her uh, treatment should be a platinum-based doublet. Her performance status is good. Um, and um, she has no prohibitive comor comorbid illnesses. My choice would be either uh, pairing Pemetrexid or one of the taxanes. Uh, Pemetrexid, I think, has some toxicity advantages relative to the taxane. So in this setting, uh, my typical doublet would be carboplatinum plus Pemetrexid, which is how this patient was treated, which I think is perfectly reasonable. Unfortunately, after three cycles of treatment, this patient had worsening symptoms, um, weight loss, some dyspia. That is always a very concerning. These things should be getting better, not worse. If they're getting worse, you have to be very suspicious of disease progression. She was reevaluated by CT scan and in fact showed that her disease was progressing and she was not really getting any benefit from the platinum-based doublet she was receiving. Um, so we need to move on uh, in this case. Um, knowing that she has a BRAF V600E and knowing that we have data in uh, this setting with uh, the combination, well actually we have data both with dibrafenib as a single agent as well as the combination of dibrafenib plus trametinib uh, in this setting. And we know um, that as a single agent, Dibrafenib was associated with a response rate of about 35 to 40 percent. The addition of trametinib, uh, so you have dual inhibition of the pathway, was associated with a response rate of about 65 percent or so. So there seemed to be, at least based on response, this was not randomized data, this was successive cohorts. There seemed to be a higher response rate with the dual blockade of the BRAF MEC uh, pathway and inhibiting both the BRAF as well as MEC. Um, pathway with the, with, with the two, two agents. Um, so in this setting, knowing that she has V600E, um, that I, would, I would strongly recommend the use of targeted agents in this setting. Um, in patients without oncogenic drivers, uh, immunotherapy is the standard of care. She would be a perfect candidate for immunotherapy. However, the response rates associated with, with immunotherapy uh, kind of hover in the 20% range. So we do have data of a treatment with a much higher response rate. Now, I will admit we don't have mature data on survival in the BRAF population treated with the targeted regimen of dibrafenib and trametinib. But I think this patient, particularly because she's progressing in clinically getting worse, she's in dire need of a response. And so I would use a treatment that I knew had a higher response rate uh, in this setting. Immunotherapy is not going to go away as an option for her. You could use that um, as the third line of therapy. But in this case, I would highly recommend uh, the targeted approach. The combination of dibrafenib and trametinib in BRAF V600E mutated uh, stage four uh, non-small cell lung cancer patients has been performed and reported. Um, the phase two trial included um, 59 patients. Uh, again, it had an objective response rate assessed by the investigators of around about 65 percent, 63 to be exact. Um, the typical toxicities were pyrexia, um, so fever, um, anemia, some GI disturbances. Overall, uh, I think the impression of the investigators was that um, it was a very a tolerable and manageable side effect profile. No surprises. We know. Um, that this has been a regimen approved for the melanoma population for quite some time with no significant uh, safety issues in this population. We don't have any data yet, or at least no mature data on survival outcomes in this population, but certainly with such a high response rate in this population, I think this opens up um, the possibility of um, this being a new standard uh, because of this very robust response rate seen in these molecularly characterized patients. One of the things that's uh, important to consider as an oncologist is the concept of getting the right patient, the right drug, at the right time. And I think uh, this population of BRAF mutant 
the V600E non-small cell lung cancer patients is a nice example. We understand that this is a, um, a, a, a driver pathway. Um, we understand um, how it works. We understand that dual inhibition with the both dibrafenib and trametinib um, is associated with very high response rates. I think that this has, uh, has the potential to change the course of the disease for these patients, given the high response rates. Uh, again, we're waiting for trials to mature to tell us how this may influence survival outcomes. But I would almost put this in the game changer category. Um, uh, because it, it, it follows that mantra of, you know, right treatment to the right patient at the right time. Uh, the right patient is patients we've tested uh, with um, uh, an extensive panel. We find V600E BRAF mutation. We have a drug uh, for this patient, and we know that the response rates are in the range of other oncogenic drivers like EGFR mutations and ALK translocations. Um, and they're much higher than we expect from standard chemotherapy or immunotherapy in this population. So I do think for these patients, this really creates an option um, that is potentially highly effective.